freshman year, you chose chemical engineering because you're good at math and you like chemistry, but most especially, you picked it because you like money. This year, your classes include a boatload of math and all of high school science over again, but harder. Enjoy it anyway, because this is the last time you'll ever get to assume ideal conditions. Sophomore year, you've decided to stick with chemi out of hubris. In Principles of Mass and Energy Balance, you spend eight hours a week banging your head on a wall and learn to state your assumptions. You're also taking Thermo 1, Transport 1, and Chemical Engineering Applications of Math Techniques. You do an internship where you learn that few spots offer more romantic views than the top of a distillation tower. But since you'll never get to bring a date here, you just enjoy the sights all by yourself. At the end of junior year, you black out and fall into a five-hour energy-induced coma, immediately forgetting everything you learned in organic chemistry, physical chemistry, thermo 2, transport 2, unit operations lab, separations, reactions, and chemical engineering analysis. At some point, problems went from having solutions that were correct to solutions that were eh, accurate enough. But your comfort level with that is still higher than your professors. Senior year, it's digital process controls, process economics and safety, process simulation, synthesis and optimization, and finally, senior process design. You're ready for a career in oil and gas, chemicals, pharmaceuticals, biomedical, environmental, or consulting. But no matter how far you go in your career, people you meet outside of work will still ask if you're a chemist.